former Conservative MP Dominic Grieve is with us now. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us on the programme. Um, your thoughts, reactions, first of all? The decision of the two senior ministers to resign is uh, a massive indictment of Boris Johnson's uh, lack of moral scruples and his behaviour and his capacity for lying. And I have to say, um, listening to Nadim, whom I know, um, I think he will regret having taken on this job because his view of the prime minister is seriously flawed. This is a prime minister who's actually delivering almost nothing. What this prime minister is delivering is chaos. And the chaos he's delivering is underpinned by his charlatanism and his serial lying on which he has been very clearly caught out uh, in the incident involving Mr. Pincher. And it's small wonder, therefore, that trust in him, in the Prime Minister, is completely collapsing. I note that the Solicitor General has resigned as well, and I'm not surprised. Still there, though, isn't he? He's, he's the great survivor, this Prime Minister. Uh, he is a great survivor. I have no doubt about that at all. But equally, it's right to say that he's doing colossal damage and, and he's doing damage to the country. That really troubles me. He's also damaging the Conservative Party. Uh, if he continues in office, the Conservative Party will be destroyed by him. And come the next election, it will suffer the consequences of keeping a scoundrel in office. Uh, and so each and every one of them is going to be tainted uh, by their failure to take action to get rid of somebody who is manifestly unsuitable to hold office. Snap election, might that save him? I doubt very much it will save him. I would have thought if there was a snap general election uh, and he decided to call one, he is going to take the Conservative Party to its doom. Um, I'm never going to vote Conservative again as long as he is uh, Prime Minister, and I think that's quite a widespread point of view, uh, which I share with my neighbours, who are many of whom are Conservative voters as well. Just before I let you go, a lot of MPs and certainly Cabinet Ministers and even the Prime Minister are very scared of the 1922 Committee. I wish I had some music there to go da da da. Why are they so scared about it? Because the 1922 Committee ultimately has the power to unseat him. It can change its own rules uh, to hold another uh, vote of confidence. Uh, or vote of no confidence in the Prime Minister. Uh, and I would have thought that the accumulating problems the Prime Minister has means that he is very close to forfeiting support from a majority of his, back, of his members of Parliament. Uh, any ordinary Prime Minister faced with this catalogue of failure and collapse and of his own misbehaviour would have been long gone. Uh, this Prime Minister, by nature and temperament, is not going to go. So, as I've said on a previous occasion, his fingers have to be prized off the window ledge, I'm afraid, and that is going to be the task of Conservative backbench MPs. And they've got to get on with it, because if they don't, the Conservative Party is finished.